Hello, it's Markham and Torshav here for Markham 3D, and today we're going to be learning how to bake textures in Blender 2.8. Now, so far, all I've got set up is I've got my high poly mesh with a um, solidify modifier over it, so just something to make a bit of grooves. And underneath this, if I go hide, I've got a plain cube. Now, this is what I'm going to be baking everything to. So, first things first, I'm going to select the high, tab to edit mode, U. Smart UV unwrap because the high poly one still needs to be unwrapped. I'm just going to quickly do that for the same for the low poly. U, smart UV project, unwrap. Beautiful. The next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that they all have materials. So I'm going to select the high, create a new material. Let's just call this high. Uh, let's come up here to shading. And what else we need to add is an image texture. So I'm going to do Shift A, search image texture um, from here I'm going to create a new image and we'll just call this baking now the thing is here is if you want the textures to look good you bump them up to bigger sizes if you are trying to save space obviously you've got to make them small I am going to just put them at 2k so I'm just going to click here times by 2 enter so I now have a 2k image to bake on let's do the same for for the low so I'm gonna come over to low at the top there click here for a new material again shift a search image spell image wrong image texture and I'm going to throw in that same um, image that we just created called baking all right so first thing we want to do is let's bake the ambient occlusion. Now let's bake the normal first. Um, the reason why I'm not baking the color, because we don't have any color. Fairly simple. Now at the moment down here we do not have baking. Simple reason. We are in Eevee. Eevee does not have baking at the moment. So we're going to change from Eevee to Cycles. And now we've got baking again. So if I keep, click Bake, Combined, we want to go to Normal. And what I want to do is I want to bake from high to low. So what we need to do is first select the high poly mesh and then shift left click the low poly mesh. So we've got the low selected and we want to go selected to active. So what we're baking goes to uh, that mesh. So because low was the last mesh that we selected, that's what it's going to bake to. So I'm just going to come down here. Let's make the ray distance just one bake. Now, if you look at our normal texture, you're expecting to see lines and the grooves and all that, but it's not there. Simple reason is, is the normal kind of needs an edge. Um, even though we've got a straight edge, there's no kind of like fall off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the high poly mo mesh, go to modifiers, add modifier, bevel modifier. And so now this mesh has bevels on it. And let's go now high to low and go to our render and let's bake this. And now we've got a texture that we kind of expect. Now the reason for this yuckiness, I don't really have an answer for you. However, we can check it out what it actually looks like. So I'm gonna get the low poly mesh, shift D to duplicate, right click to put that back in, G, Y, or X, let's move it to this side. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another new material. So let's get rid of this material. And we'll go new material and we'll just call this the test material and I'm going to do search and add in an image texture let's add in baking and this will be our normal um, and actually while we're at it let's save it so we don't overwrite because we'll be because <laughs> we'll be baking other textures uh, we will lose that render. So I'm just going to go save, uh, click on this icon up here, image, save image as, baking, let's just go, no, whatever, baking, underscore N, save. So now do we have, uh, let me open the texture, baking N, just so that way we don't lose it. I'm going to select, I'm used to Unreal extracting the nodes, but once again, I'm going to do shift A, search, I'm going to add in a normal map, color to color, normal to normal, 
And as you can see, we kind of, we got this, you know, pretty decent thing. I, what are these rivets? I don't know. I think that's the cost of the low poly. Maybe if we try and bake it again at maybe the margin, eh, 64. Why not? High to low, bake. So you still got these little divots even after increasing it up to margin 64. This could be all happening because it's still Blender 2.8, still in beta, still hasn't come out, so it could be a little bit bugs. Eh, what are you gonna do? But the next thing we can do also do is a ambient occlusion. So if I click bake here and just canceling that, um, I've got still got the high to low and bake. And so now our ambient occlusion has finished baking. Um, we've got a bit of a yucky one down here and I think that could be because of the light is just a point light. So it is taking the data from here. Now the reason why this looks very ugly is because it's we've still got it set as a normal map. So let's delete that. And I'm just gonna dump this into base color. And we still got these little error things, which I'm a little puzzled by. I'm not sure why they're there, but that's the basic process of how to bake textures. Obviously just play around with the settings and yeah, 